You're a sweet boy. It's the ones left behind who often sacrifice the most. He says, I a baby. And it's moments like this with 11-month-old Gabriel in her arms that Becky Stern realizes. Be careful. She's 65 years old and raising a child virtually by herself. I can't convince people that it's not been bad on me. I'm learning that even at my age, I can still do a lot of things I didn't think I could do. <laughs> She's playing the role of parent because her son John and daughter-in-law Stacy are both Army sergeants serving in Iraq. Somebody's got to be out there to protect us, and we have to we have to support them, and not just on Veterans Day. And the days she thought would be filled with retirement are now filled with familiar chores. Yeah, it does. Since the 4th of July, it's been Grandma and Gabriel together. They only see John and Stacy through that, Skype. Babe? Is that like the computer where Mommy and Daddy live? But throughout everything, Becky says John and Stacy bear the biggest burden of all. I do worry that they're, they're gone and that they're in harm's way a lot. But I think the very worst of it is that they're missing all the milestones. They missed all six teeth, the pulling up and they've missed the standing in the crib the very first time and that pride on his face. Right, right. She's able to stay upbeat because of her family's military background. Her father served in World War II and her other son David has been serving in the Navy for 22 years. I'm part of Blue Star Mothers. One of the things I take away from them is that they believe that there's a higher power watching over their, their children. They're there to do everything they can to support their children, but one of the things they don't give their children is the responsibility of, of mother's worry. A mother's worry that's kept inside to protect her family, who in turn protects us all. In North Myrtle Beach, Ryan Nockhan, News Channel 15.